Well, hello. Um, this isn't going to be a typical uh, video that I'm having for uh, uh, this week's movie discussion, whatever. Uh, I'll hopefully be next week, so I don't know. Um, I was going to see uh, this week Deadpool 3. I have first two Deadpool films here, Deadpool 1 and Deadpool 2, which has the supercut. I have never actually seen the, uh, <clears throat> uh, a Deadpool, uh, you know, a Deadpool Christmas, which is basically this film, just PG-13 instead of rated R. And, of course, you know, Deadpool 3 is Deadpool and Wolverine, and this was Hugh Jackman's final, uh, time being Wolverine. Logan. <clears throat> Pretty sure I talked about this after it came out. Don't believe I ever spoke about these films. Um, but, you know, maybe once the third film is on Blu-ray, I'll probably... I likely will get that and then <clears throat> you know, talk about it. But, um... Yeah, I wasn't able to see that today because apparently uh, there was a power outage at the theater that I often frequent, and so that happened Friday night, and they are working on getting <clears throat> all that fixed so that they can then... Uh, You know, hopefully next week it'll be back. But, you know, so far um, they've said that uh, hopefully next Monday or Tuesday it will be back on. So I hope that will be the case. Um, <clears throat> this is like one of like the, <laughs> the days this week we've been able to see it. But uh, hopefully next week see it, but yeah, that sucks, but uh, hey, <laughs> yeah, I guess stuff like that happens, and the only other theater near here, you know, it doesn't really play, you know, blockbuster films like these, um, at least not until they're pretty much done with their theatrical release and then <clears throat> maybe for like the last month or so they will have it but yeah I don't know I mean I know for a fact Deadpool and Wolverine has made uh, a billion dollars now which considering it came out in July Two, like two and a half weeks or so thereabouts <clears throat> it made a billion dollars and uh yeah now some people will be like oh well it's because Deadpool and yeah that is a big part of it um I would also say Hugh Jackman returning as Wolverine is a big reason because he said this will be the last time he would ever be Wolverine he would never return and especially he would never return if Fox was bought by Disney. Because, you know, he said if they were ever, ever able to have the Avengers in X-Men crossover and do it in such a way where he thought that would be great to <clears throat> see and be a part of, he would be fine as long as Fox and Disney came to some agreement to have that happen. But then, of course, Disney bought uh, Fox, so, yeah. And I'm sure they gave Hugh Jackman a good amount of money. Um, but, yeah, I'd like to, at some point uh, later this year, probably rewatch all of these. I actually have, but, you know, rewatch them to talk about them. And even talk about Logan, because Logan's an excellent film. And, uh, you know, this was from Target which no longer 
has as many uh, movies anymore. And same with this. In this version, um, has a noir uh, version where the film is in black and white. And uh, it's pretty cool. This has like a, you know, this is like a book, so. Come on. So yeah, get that off and, uh, <clears throat> and there is the Blu-ray, and here is the new R version of the film. On Blu-ray. So yeah, it's just the... That looks like that, so... It looks like this. It's just the movie in black and white. Yeah, I have never actually watched it in black and white, but... Yeah, maybe the, for the next uh, time I watch it, it'll be kind of a cool thing <clears throat> and of course there's a you know it's like a book so there's pictures and quotes and all that from the film and so that looks cool I have not looked at this actual book in a while. And there's the DVD, but yeah, it's... This is an excellent film. If you haven't seen it, it's definitely worth watching. Logan is one of those films where, if you've never seen an X-Men film, or maybe you've only seen like the first one or first few, and for one reason or another, just never watched the others. You can watch Logan as a standalone film and there's enough information to, you know, give you context as to what led up to this point. And then, you know, there's enough uh, <clears throat> there to uh, and then there's, of course, if you've seen all of the other X-Men films, you can then watch this and be like, yep, that's it. It's, better. it's a great continuation uh, set years later. But yeah, I, uh, I enjoy these films, so yeah. Can't really talk about Deadpool and Wolverine right now, but... I will soon, and so this isn't going into the uh, <laughs> my playlist of uh, film talk, but just wanted to give some sort of update of sorts, letting you know that that won't happen this week, um, but yeah, this came with a book, two discs, including the super duper <laughs> cut. Yeah. Quite the films. Yeah. Ryan Reynolds does a very good job at Deadpool. Anyway, that's all I've got today. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, please have a great rest of your week and have a great day. I hope you're all doing well. So, uh, till next time.
yeah. And of course, I won't spoil Deadpool or Wolverine for everybody who hasn't seen it and wants to. Um, I'll just give my general thoughts on what I think. So, yeah. And also, apologies for the whole Blazing Saddles video not being as long as probably could have but you know it's like you know blazing saddles is very popular what can i say about it that hasn't been said already that kind of was my sentiment <laughs> but i wanted to talk about it because it's a good film so anyway hope you're good hope you're all well have a great rest of your day and have a great weekend of weekend and hopefully the movie theater uh will be uh, uh, up and running soon. So yeah, take care.